Okay, I was playing around with some of the concepts for a three-building campus, so I'll show you where I ended up. Excuse the crudeness of the details in the model, but the dimensions are accurate. As it stands now, this is basically what the three buildings look like. I wasn't fully informed as to what the actual function of the 255 building would be, but I made it one story, a few feet narrower, and matching some of the stylings of 257. In the rear, I wrapped around a one-way parking lot and was able to put in more than 36 parking spaces. From this parking lot, I added a small walkway and access to the main lobby from a side entrance that connects the two buildings. Again, I don't know what the intended use of the space in 255 would be, but I thought a connected building for possible clinic expansion might be desirable, creating a method to separate out some of the different clients that you have. Next, I took down the 261 building, again to one story, made it significantly smaller, and it seems to pose naturally as an administrative building, and matching the style of 257. With this added space, I added a few parking spots right out front, and in the interest of cost and complication, I left the building at its original six feet above street level, which created the need for these steps and an accessibility option. Spinning it around, we can look at the site in plan view, and you can see that I chose to have the parking lot wrap around 257 and 255, since there's existing street access. This allowed for the idea of having additional access to the existing lobby at 257, through a side entrance, since most of the parking is in the rear. But with essentially two entrances, I came up with this slightly more functional reception area that seats more people, and here, here's a view through the doors, and if you can see, there's an area right back here for clients to stop by reception to sort of check out before re-entering the lobby after a, after a session to address paperwork issues and improve some of the privacy concerns. So that's some ideas that might work. If you get more information and ideas to me, I can add them in and update the model pretty quickly. After that, I can make a more realistic 3D drawing of the site and the surrounding area when it's closer to what you're looking for.